Following the emergence of a video showing the spiritual leader engaging in inappropriate behavior with a child, the Dalai Lama has issued a formal apology. In a statement released by his office on Monday, His Holiness expressed remorse for any harm his comments may have caused the young boy and his family, as well as his global friends. The statement went on to explain that the Dalai Lama often engages in playful banter with individuals he meets in a harmless manner, both publicly and in front of cameras. However, as the video of the incident at a gathering in Dharamshala, India, in February went viral on social media, many people criticized the Dalai Lama's conduct, leading to his apology. In the video, the young child approaches the Nobel Peace Prize laureate and asks to hug him. The 87-year-old spiritual leader then invites the boy onto the stage, where he proceeds to kiss him on the cheek and then on the lips while making inappropriate remarks about sucking his tongue. The identity of the child is unknown, but he was present at the M3M Foundation event, hosted by the Indian real estate firm's charitable arm in Dharamshala, where the Dalai Lama currently resides in exile. News outlets have reached out to the M3M Foundation for their response to the incident. In response to the controversy, the HACC, Center for Child Rights, a leading child rights organization based in Delhi, issued a statement condemning all forms of child abuse, including those disguised as cultural expressions. The statement further clarified that the use of the tongue in Tibetan culture is not related to such behavior and is not acceptable. As the leader of the Yellow Hat School of Tibetan Buddhism, the present Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyatso, is widely revered as the reincarnation of his 13 predecessors. Since fleeing to India in 1959 following the Chinese invasion of Tibet, he has lived in exile in Dharamshala, where a significant Tibetan community has gathered around him. This is not the first time the Dalai Lama has courted controversy in recent years. He was forced to apologize for making sexist and racist remarks in a 2019 BBC interview in which he suggested that a female successor should be attractive and that Europe should be reserved for Europeans, sparking accusations of racism and xenophobia.